Kickers is doing now. Top side. Can they lock down Kabushad? They will. Let's see what Kickers can do onto him. The exhaust is already used. Kabushad's in trouble. He's going to get him. taken down. First blood to the Unicorns of Love. True shot barrage. Is it going to steal? That is the question. The answer is no. Got me excited for nothing. Unicorns, early dragon, early first blood. If you're strong enough to duel him, oh, let's see, TP in the bottom lane. Pinoy, my friend, you're on your own. Well. And just to make it worse, we have to see a hook land as well. He's way forward, connects with a death sentence onto Edward, follows it through with the secondary, puts the box down in the middle of the jungle, and Edward is in full retreat. Kick us down to 100 HP, less down. It was actually the clone. Even I got baited by that one. And Pinoy, so, so close. Now, Unicorns, they are low. Kick is... Kabushad is going to have Home Guard and TP. And yeah, with these low members, if he managed to engage correctly, Gambit can still turn around this fight. Betsy's on full HP. It's a TP. Well, there we go. He's jumped forward, caught three people with the Onslaught of Shadows. Kabushad continues to run forward. Ignite is burning away. Power of Evil is down, and the Dragon has been stalled out. Gambit now set their sights on that objective. Can they secure it? Kickis and the rest of Unicorns looking to engage. Kickis does go over with the Deceive, but unable to get the Smite. Fast pushing down towers for Kickis here. So with that being on cooldown, it does open up for the hard engage. That's a flash dragon. Hillisang is caught out of place. The Depth Charge threw him up in the air. And that was a Spell Shield on the Super Mega Death Rocket. Now Vizichachi forced to flash over the Fame Chompers. And Diamond is a little out of position. We do see Unleashed Power has already been used and the Javelin Toss is side stage. While all this is going on, Kickers is pushing the tower. Chachi gets caught by one more hook. And it's Betsy that takes him out. Dragon spawns in four seconds, but he's a risky, risky play. If Gambit decides to stick around, no mana on Power of Evil. They've traded a kill for a tower. Yeah, that took a little bit longer for Gambit to get the kills than they had hoped for. They just wanted to blow up one target and then get back and defend against Kickers here while still be able to take the Dragon with four members against three. Home guard from the Hecarim. Before that, it's really up for you to do anything. Oh, Death Sentence onto Diamond. He's down before the teleport can complete. Cabochon in full retreat, but he onslaught back in. Does manage to fear Power of Evil. Where is the rest of the team, though? In comes Edward and Pinoy, trying to get some damage down, but Cabochon is out. We do see Betty landing a kill crit onto Vardak, and remember. the True Shot Barrage is flying through. Kickers is taking the tower in the bottom lane, and despite Fight. Some kills for Gambit. They lose the fight, they lose the tower. Thanks to the fact that Diamond again was on the wrong side of his team. Think of his rec side performance from the previous match in the series. TP ready for Copper Shot before he really can do anything for Gambit. We do here on the hunt. Hillisan connected with Death Sentence. There's no more minions in this top tower. We do see the Lantern forcing. Unicorns of Love there to back away. Vardax took a lot of damage. Super Mega Death Rocket connects with the True Shot Barrage. Goes way wide. Betsy unable to find another kill. Oh, nice. Keeps him alive awesome. again. All of a sudden, Diamond's the one that gets focused down from the unleashed power. Gambit trying to chase while all that's going on. Kickers has been able to trade back and forth. Kabashad was not with the team in that fight. Keep that in mind. Zap will connect onto Chachi as will the Dredge Line. And he manages to lance it away. The death sentence connects and they turn yeah, it around. Morgana, Edward what? goes down. Hillisang is on fire. And the unicorns of love are not done yet. Kickers looks for Pinoy. He exhausts him, he smites him, he slams him, and that is so much damage. Power of Evil with his third kill in a row in the top lane. Sit back. I mean, if you're looking for Tiamat Shaco, by the way. Edward's been caught, he's been hooked, and he's gone. If you look at the build though from Kabushad, he's building for team fights, but he's having to deal with Kickers. Like, look at the MR on him. That's not gonna do anything against Kickers here. It's the simplest shots that are the hardest to land. Flash is available for Diamond, as is Javelin. There is some opportunity. Kabushad is teleporting in for this one. Gambit, one last desperate play. Onslaught of Shadow. Looking for Power of Evil, not into the pit. That's not going to be enough. Baron secured by the Unicorns of Love and Vizichachi's on the wrong side of the wall. The rest of Unicorns trying to fight this one off and Kabashad threw himself at Power of Evil. They've bullied Gambit away with Baron buff and a 7k gold item lead. Will secure their third dragon of the game. Utterly uncontested. Split push. Vardax he is left on his own though. I'm not sure why he was pushing up. Let's see if he can escape. Well, we'll see. Let's have the mark on. He's going to carry on auto-attacking, put a lot of damage on Diamond. He's going to decide to turn it around, and he gets the kill. Varda gets the kill and outplays Diamond. It's not over yet, Such Trevor. well played. Noi is setting a trap for himself. Oh, he's so much trouble. Not going to get the crits he's looking for. 
face of the mountain shield from Hillisang will keep Vardax alive. Equally good. All three games, all four games, sorry. For them. They're gonna get inhibitor. So difficult. Down. There's no there's nothing to contest this. Unicorns of love will lose a hallucinated clone as the only cost for another inhibitor. Probably will take a big chunk from that javelin toss, but it does not matter. Kick us. Wow! 700 crit. If you want to talk about style, Kikis is trying to finish this one. Betsy now unable to sit on the inhibitor tower thanks to the damage Kikis has put down. Inhibitor number two going to fall. Pizzachachi got that vengeful maelstrom up. If anyone decides to jump in, oh, that's God. a death sentence. Oh. And there's your MVP for me. Edward will follow. Kabashar trying to run amok in the back line. He will find power of evil, but it not matter. Hillisang plus Kikis are carrying Unicorns of Love to the semi-finals in their debut split of the 2015 season. Unicorns advance to the top four, advance to do battle with SK Gaming in Madrid, Spain.